Amelia Fairheart. Hello world, I'm Maya Ryan and I'd like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. Uh, so far I've been able to share my own experiences on what it's like to live on the autistic spectrum. The second thing that I will do is give my two cents on autism in the media. The third area entails providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum as well as your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers. And finally, I will come for topics of uh, things that I'm passionate about in addition to doing day in the life type blogging. a.m. and I am headed down to catch the bus. I normally get up at this time and I take the bus into work. Today I'm headed straight to Hartsfield Jackson International Airport for the annual Wings for All, Wings for Autism event, which is the same thing as these autism airport rehearsal tours and I'm just super excited about it. had breakfast yet and I'm sitting down on the floor charging my phone and also shooting this vlog today but um, I wanted to talk about something and especially as um, an individual who's becoming a leader in the autistic community and reading books and becoming really influenced by others on the spectrum that have really made something of themselves and wanting to develop as a person but basically I was uh, See, I was sitting on the bus this morning and I'd been running into this woman uh, the last month or so and she appeared to be really nice and we said hi to each other and so we just started talking and though she was nice enough she just turned out to have um, a negative uh, influence about herself and it was just turning me off like she was complaining about riding the, the train one direction versus riding the opposite. Like she hated riding the train westbound, but she loved riding it eastbound. And she was also complaining about how she hates downtown and hates crowds. I mean, I know a lot of people do. And then I started tried to turn it into a positive conversation. I tried to say that, hey, I love the CNN Center. Oh, I've already been there, done that. And I said, yeah. Well, I go there and I have lunch. Oh, okay. I said, but I would like to go and do the, uh, do the tours itself. I haven't done that yet. And then I mentioned that I love the world of Coke, but I didn't like the aquarium. And I like Centennial Olympic Park. Well, if that's something you like to do. And then I started to tell her about this event with the airport tours and she mentioned that she liked to fly. And I said, yeah, what's your favorite place to fly? And she said she loved Mexico and she liked California. And she said she loved Cancun. And so I started to talk about Mexico and I was telling her that uh, I'd only been to Cozumel. Oh, I don't like Cozumel. There's nothing to do there. And then I told her that there are other places uh, in Mexico that are better, like uh, the West Coast. like. I've been to Acapulco, and I've been to Ciudad Estampa. Yeah, I don't really want to go back to Mexico because you go to one place, you've seen it all. At that point, I started to feel sick, and I just said, you know, just keep in mind that you're at, that uh, I'm a positive person sitting next to a negative person. But have a good day. So, I just picked up. Uh, my Kindle and I started reading the next book for uh, Future Horizons that I want to write reviews for because uh, you realize that when you're negative like that, uh, you not only bring everybody else down, but you make yourself sick by complaining like that. And it just, it's not healthy to be negative all the time. It's not healthy to complain like that. and. I've been around some really negative people and I've gotten into a rut of getting really negative and 
I'm doing my darndest to become more positive. And yes, I admit I've done some really negative things or talked about some negative subjects on my blogs. But that's because there's a lot of negative things that happen to autistics and there have been a lot of negative things that have happened to me in my life. But I can't let them steal my joy. And yeah, <laughs> not everybody likes the same things that I do. But uh, keep in mind that I still want to explore other parts of Mexico. And keep in mind that I love downtown Atlanta. Keep in mind that I love traveling westbound and eastbound on the um, uh, on the Atlanta Marta's line. Even though it takes a little bit longer getting home or going from a downtown Tucker or from my house, but uh, why in the world would she mention that? So. Um, I ended up having to shut her down because, again, I thought that I was wasting my time and I just did, didn't want to get into an argument with her. And so I just kept quiet the rest of the ride and I kept on reading the book. And then I just picked up and I went to, um, so what do you call it? So I just picked up and left and before I did, I looked at her and I said, take care. She didn't even say goodbye to me or anything because I shut her down, because I told her to shut up. And uh, granted, I hated having to tell her that. Uh, on the contrary, I do not like people that uh, constantly complain. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, that's not my thing. Yeah, that's boring. It's just, yeah, I don't like that. Again, I've had too many people in my life that were negative, and there's a time and a place where I have to put my foot down and say, hey, shut up. Not in that manner, but in so many words, in a nice way. And I told her that, just keep in mind that, uh, I'm a positive person sitting next to a negative person, but have a good day. So. I mean, she laughed at me, didn't argue with me, but I'm sure that ruffled their feathers to hear that, so. But, <laughs> but you know, they say that the truth hurts, and um, granted, maybe she needed to hear that. And, <laughs> anyway, but I'll talk with you later. Um, I'm gonna go get this breakfast now. Bye. You should have seen it. I was ordering my breakfast this morning and uh, there were two people working at Burger King. Uh, good grief, I know that they're short-handed and the lines were short, but my sandwich was uh, just sitting there and that cashier ran around doing everything else. She wasn't even paying attention to the customers. I called their name, excuse me, ma'am, hello. And I said, ma'am, my sandwich is there. And she just kept on doing everything else and just neglecting the customers. And I get that she's a busy worker, but she needs to pay attention. I'm finally here, but I think I'm frazzled now. Headed down to the plane train now and then headed out to main terminal and then directly over to Marta before uh, going to the office at Georgia State and then getting some work done prior to going home. And if I have time, reading another book by, uh, I don't know who it's by, but it's a Future Horizons book about autism in the school setting. Uh, I just finished reading a great book by Anita Lesko on uh, 
Becoming an Autism Success Story. Uh, I just wrote the blog up and I am just waiting to hear back from um, my proofreader so that I can get that onto my WordPress. But here's the train, I'm gonna wait for the next one. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this. If you like what I'm doing, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. If you want to follow me, please be sure YouTube to uh, click that bell and uh, also be sure to check out my written blogs on wordpress.com. That's hello world 240 at wordpress.com. These are scholarly practical application as well as uh, blogs related to reviews on books that were uh, published by Future Horizons as well as autism conferences. Uh, uh, you can find information in below and in the credits. Until next time, Maya Ryan and I'm signing off.